So in this last example, um, basically as we already discussed when uh, we're dividing fractions, we want to turn our, mul our, multiplicate, our uh, division problem into a multiplication problem. So again, the first thing we're going to have to do is rewrite the problem. So I have x squared minus 4 divided by x squared plus 6x plus 9 times x squared minus 9 divided by x squared plus 4x plus 4. So does everybody see at least the first steps that I did yeah. on the problem? I pretty much just rewrote the problem as the multiplication by its reciprocal. Now the next thing I need to do is again go through um, my factoring. And you guys can see here I have a lot of factoring that's going to be going on. That's why it's very important we're going to be getting a lot of practice and making sure you guys can do you know, the factoring over and over again. So here you guys see I have x squared minus 4, which is again an uh, example of difference of two squares. So I can factor that into x minus 2 times x plus 2. Over here, I'll just set up a trinomial here. You can say what two numbers multiply to give you 9, add to give you 6. Again, it's positive and positive. That means both factors have to be positive. So therefore, um, hopefully you guys can see that it's going to be x plus 3 times x plus 3 times here x squared minus 9. Again, that is an example of difference of two squares. So I'd have x minus 3 times x plus 3. And then over here, what two numbers multiply to give you 4 and then add to give you 4? Again, this is an example of a perfect square trinomial, which would uh, give you the factors of 2 and 2. So basically, ladies and gentlemen, there's kind of two steps when we're doing division. First, rewrite it as a multiplication problem. Step number two, factor everything. Then, once you guys get everything factored, now we just look for what can we divide out? What is the same in the numerator that's the same in the denominator? You guys see? Yep. So now that's everything that's left over. So I have x minus 2 times x minus 3 divided by um, x plus 3 times x plus 2. Okay? And again, um, you might see something as they multiply that back out. However, I would leave it um, exactly in that answer. And then we kind of go back to our original problem. And uh, what we can also see that uh, x cannot equal a positive 3. And x cannot equal a negative 3. What? The constraints? <coughs> Again, they're in my, from my original problem, those are the numbers that make my denominator equal to 0. So again, if you look at this x, this is, this factor is this, right? So if x is 3, that becomes 0. 0 times that is 0. So your denominator is equal to 0. If negative 3, that makes that 0. So then that makes the whole process 0. OK? Yes? 